everyone. This is Used Cars Simulator, a brand new simulator coming out very soon, developed by Dreamway Games and published by Playway SA. Used Cars Simulator is trade used or trade used or stolen cars, fix and customize them, drive around and explore the open world, grow your business, complete quests and have fun with physics-based sandbox. This looks pretty cool. This does come out in quarter two in 2024, at least is what is expected. This is just going to be a demo look. This is gonna be a first look, a play test of used car simulator. So if you really like what you see in today's uh, video and you want to see me play it more, or you want to see it come to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, commenting down below that you want, would like to see this game uh, in the future or more in the future. This will be controller supported. It does say partially controller supported, so that's good news. Um, and uh, this game will also come out in early access too. All right, without that, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this uh, early first look. Let's look at Use Cars Simulator. Let's do it. All right, so this is a short demo is what they're calling it. Um, and hopefully we get a good, nice taste of what to expect with this game today. Let's see here. Okay, all right. Use car, buy used cars, stolen cars. We are excited to give you a first look at the hard work the team has been putting into the game. Please know that the current progress of the game is in development. All current content in the game should not be considered final. That goes for even watching this. In the demo, you will experience just a few of the machines, or sorry, the mechanics that will be available later. To put the game into your hands as soon as possible, we decided to cut out on car part tweaking, uh, trading. We left you with just one car to customize a bit, but this will give you a nice taste for what is to come. The early access, the early access that co that's coming later this year, will have many more mechanics, car locations, quests, and locations or cars locations and quests. But to make it as successful as possible, we need your feedback. So play the demo and have fun, drive safe, and good luck on the island dreamway games all right let's do it let's do it shall we okay before we dive into this real quick let me see do you have anything let's let's pump it down just a bit let's give a nice little fov here maybe to 90 and uh yeah we'll lock it at 60 fps and we will apply that there we go all right hello so is this our truck is this something that we do so remove the planks from the shed uh dispose of the trash prop uh, properly or off-site and choose a brand name all right very well let's do take those off thank you all right open up here's our shed very cool now i am kind of blocking uh the map you can see behind my head but it's just a map uh there is hunger thirst sleep and toilet that you have to worry about it seems like in this game this is day one on a monday is what it's showing us so that's cool so this must be the trash we need to get rid of there we are trash there we go. There we are. There we go. All right. It's kind of a cool idea, I would I would think. Whoa, what the hell? But it is kind of interesting, especially like uh, like used cars and uh, stolen cars. Like I'm kind of interested to know what that. Hey, money, two hundred dollars. Cool. And in the top right hand corner, it looks like the, we have some sort of like level, maybe prestige. We have money. We have some bolts and things like that. Choose a brand name. Okay, this will be cans. You uh, steal it. Uh, let's see what kind of text we have here. Oh, oh, I like that one. What was that one? Yeah. All right. It's going to be a lot of oh, about five, maybe the five different fonts here. Uh, the size of the font. Uh, we can't go too big because yeah, uh, so we'll go like that. What is this color? The color of the font. What about the backdrop? Yeah, the backdrop, the background. Cans you steal it, black and white. Pay fifty dollars for that. That is our brand. All right, cool. Get into the tow truck. Extend and retract the ramp in the tow truck, and go to the Rainy Vale and purchase your first car. All right, so let's get into the truck. How cool is this? First person, third person. Uh, there is music, and I will be cautious about this because I don't know how it runs. I'm going to turn that off just in case for copyright reasons. I don't want to get hit with that, so let's turn that completely off. Okay, so they want us to retract, yeah? Uh, I see they... Oh, they actually have indicators, too, in this game, too. Two? How many times do you want to say two? Uh, Z for the radio station. No, I don't want the Z. Tow truck is rented demo. You can't sell or damage it. Very well. All right. It doesn't say anything about extending the, um... Oh, there it is. Extending the ramp right there. It does say it. X. Let's see here. Oh, this is kind of cool. 
Oh. Nice. Okay, so we've extended the ramp for the tow truck. How cool is that? We've brought it back. Okay, that's pretty neat. Now we need to go to Rainyvale, which, okay. Let's see if we can find ourselves Rainyvale. It's going to be a little bit louder. We are in a little bit of a, of a truck here. Big motor coming through. Now I am going the complete wrong way, it seems, already. So let's kind of turn this around. I guess they had us pointing in the right direction. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Back on the road we go. We'll, we'll, we'll zoom back out. See if that kind of... That does not make the sound any quieter. All right. We'll just enjoy this. It seems pretty cool. So, yeah, they, they talk about... Well, this is a terrible time to talk about anything when it's so loud, but... You know what? I'll just take care of the issue now. Uh, but they do talk about how enjoying like the world right enjoy the sandbox world uh which is very cool to think about enjoy the physics that we've built for you and enjoy this open world and i am curious to see is there a map on this game i am curious to see whether or not uh, a map will be in place probably right um and to see how big the map will be i also see by my speedometer um there is some sort of like blue which suggests that it's nos Maybe, maybe nitrous, or it could be fuel for the car where we need to go to a gas station, but I don't think that's fuel. I think it's some sort of nitrous. All right, uh, let's see. Wow, look at this. Oh, well, there is a gas station there, so maybe, maybe that is. Oh, no, I see the fuel. It's above the, it's to the right of speedometer. Look higher. Okay, we, there is a fuel gauge. So there's a fuel gauge and a nitrous gauge. All right, cool. All right, I see it. I see it. All right. There's also traffic, which is nice. I am a little bit touchy on the steering. So you have to worry about fuel in this game, which will be really cool to see. You have to worry about hunger in this game. You have to worry about water in this game. You got to worry about sleep and you got to worry about the toilets. Nice. Uh, right. Was I supposed to turn right back there? Maybe no. This, this way seems good. We went from desert into like a suburban area, some residential area. Cool. Uh, not accessible right now. You can't go in there during the playtest. By the way, if you enjoy this game too, what you see in today's game, make sure to also add it to your wish list on Steam and know when it does become available so you can purchase it if you like. And um, I think the playtest is going on right now as we, if you're watching this day one or maybe a couple of days after release. So you can go ahead and play this game and uh, run it for yourself and see if you like it also. Let's go this way. We'll just kind of not obey traffic laws. That is a tight turn. Wow. Okay, cool. Now, I have $7,100. Don't know what that's going to do as far as, like, options or choices. I, well, I guess we don't have any choices, huh? We only have... Well, it says purchase your first car. So, what is this? Like a mobile home park. Mobile home park with, like, three different uh, vehicles that we can buy. So, this one's $6,400. Okay. Okay. That looks like a possible Ford Mustang, older Mustang. Let's see over here. What is this? This one is also $6,500. It's the same kind of car. Looks like possibly the same kind of car. Okay, there must be only just one type of car in the game right now for the demo. Oh, no, this, yeah, this is the same one. 63. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this one. It's purple. Why not? Right? It looks like a, yeah, it looks like a Mustang, kind of. All right. Hello. I'm here to buy your car. $6,300. Let's talk to them. Car seller. Hey, are you looking for a new ride? I am. I would like to buy your car. Your price. Can I offer you lower? Can I offer you $5,500? Do you think I'm stupid? Well, no. Can I offer you $5,900? Good. Now I think you're stupid. Transport the car to your shed and then collect scrapped in the desert. Uh, repair damage with the minimum to of 59%. Switch to the hammer using that. Wash your car to at least 65% cleanliness and paint your car to at least 50% 50, 50 coverage. Okay, so transport the car to the shed. Then we need to collect scrap in the desert. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. They're very weird. <laughs> Touch the touch the car in a seductive manner all right this is our car we own this it's already 2100 it's gonna be 2200 here very soon so it's gonna get dark um let's turn our lights on and then maybe if we can maybe uh jk to can we put, put on both indicators only one indicator at a time okay looks like one indicator at a time sir i don't want to hit you but you're really like standing in the way here 
All right, let's see if we can put this thing on the tow truck. All right, let's see here. Line it up. This is a terrible place to... Actually, you know what? I'll just put it on the street here. Yeah, we'll extend out. There we go. And then we'll drive the car onto that. Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh, yeah, the physics. You could definitely feel it. And uh, compared to, like, most other uh, simulator games, right? This is really cool. Turn on the lights as well so we can see what we're doing. This would be a lot cooler to do in the middle of the day here. Oh, God. Get up there. Okay. Are we up there? All right. Are we up there? We're, we're kind of ass on there. Ass crooked on there. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, now let's retract it. Do we need to tie it down? Does it say to tie it down or anything? No? Don't need to tie it down? It's going to be good where it's at? Yeah, I guess it's going to be good where it's at. Okay. All right. So let's take this. Now, I will keep my eye out as we go back to the shed. I guess since we do drive through the desert, I'll keep my eye out and see whether or not... Uh, this was the same car, right? It's just a different color. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep my eye out and see whether or not there's like scraps in the desert while we drive by. I'm really not sure. This is weird. How <laughs> It has a gate here. <laughs> a gate for... A gate like that for a very, very, very tiny neighborhood. Interesting. All right. Now, I don't know if there is actually nitrous put into this truck. It does have this nitrous gauge, but I guess it doesn't necessarily mean that it has nitrous or maybe nitrous is not implemented in the, um, in the, in the demo right now. But I want to see this. I want I, I do want to kind of like, I want to get this car kind of souped up a bit and then I want to like drive it as fast as I can and just I hate to say wreck it but I want to really see I want to test out and see what the physics are like maybe drive in the desert and if I hit a hill then I hit a hill type thing you know what I mean I want to see really what the phys physics are because when I was driving that thing just up this ramp onto the tow truck it did feel really kind of cool really no traffic awareness in this all right I guess they have priority around here now our tow truck is kind of low on fuel so let's see we've lost a quarter of a tank of gas let's try to see if it's easy to get gas in this now also we should probably think about getting gas for our uh car that we just bought now let's see whoa grab can we place that in there too yeah nice cool is it seven dollars a gallon holy crap um i don't know what language this is but okay is that okay all right we'll put uh fuel in there and then where's the fuel gauge for the truck here it's on the other side i can't see do i have a flashlight maybe a beer i have a beer wait what okay <laughs> i have a chicken Okay. Cool. Looks like a, you can also get like an angle grinder and a smartphone, a tablet, and a baseball bat later on. Um, but I am just trying to find where... I just want to know where the light is. I can't really see. But I would like to uh, do the truck here if I can. Can I go on the other side? Uh, reach around. Reach around. Where are we taking the fuel at here? Maybe we don't put fuel in the truck. Maybe the truck is what it is. I'm not sure. Wait, what, what happened to the lights? Is it because it's morning time now? It does seem time goes by really fast in this game, too. Maybe they don't sell diesel here. You know, maybe that's what it is. All right. Very well. Let's go. Back to the shed we go. I do wonder when this game does come out in early access, how many different kinds of vehicles are going to be in the game, right? How many different vehicles are going to be in the game? Um, and what are, I want to know the roadmap because I'm very interested to know to figure that out. Uh, let's see. We're just about around the corner here. This is our shed over here. Yeah. And then we have to look in the desert for scrap. Like, would this be considered is scrap somewhere let's see let's pull off off to the side maybe they'll, they'll give us like waypoints later 
But is there like scrap considered in here? Yeah. Oh no. I almost got stuck. <laughs> oh no. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out sooner rather than later. All right. We'll see what happens. We'll just take the car there first. Or the tr yeah, take the car there. Dun, 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 dun. Car dealership. Wait. Oh, that's right. We came on a we came on a dirt road, huh? Oh man. Oh, I'm really, I'm really not using the main road, am I? Okay. All right. Yep. This is the backside of our shed. That's all right. We eventually got here. Hello. And then what we'll do is we can, I wonder if this will work. We'll go ahead and back it up. Yeah. There we go. Can you steal it? At this price, I kind of feel like I did. Haha. <laughs> There we go. And then let's get out. Is that a good spot? No, that's not a good spot. Kind of drag it a little bit. There we go. Now we can go. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Okay. All right. 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 Let's just be careful. Oh, God. Okay, we might be stuck. Okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Disaster already striking. Just take the ramp off. There we go. This is one way to do it. Not the way I was expecting to do it, but we did it. Oh! Did I just hit something? Car's on fire. What in the world? Okay, so collect scrap in the desert. Yeah, I, I would Yeah, I would like to. Now, do I do that on foot, I guess? Yeah, probably the best way to do it is on foot. My lord. Pimp my ride is the name of this uh, this quest. There we go. I see just random scrap just kind of chilling out here. Is that what this is? There we go. And that does in the top right does tick off the uh, ticker there. Tick off the ticker. Tick off the ticker. Right. Let's see. 69. That's a perfect number to fall on. Okay, so now we need to rebuild it. So let's grab the hammer, right? Oh, wow. Wow. Total condition. For a Ford Must 1967. So, yeah, this is a Ford Mustang 1967. Um, this diagram is a little hard to read. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, I think we did well. Is this the trunk that's. Whoops. Okay, bumper. Uh, the front of the, the front of the car, front of the car, front of the car. Yeah, the grill. Okay, and then the grill. That ninety nine percent. I wanted to have a full one hundred. There we go. It's at a full one hundred. All right, so it's fully repaired. Nice. So wash your car at least sixty five percent cleanliness. Oh, pressure washer, yeah? I don't know if pressure washing is like the right thing to do here, but here we go. Look at that. Now that's a beauty. Oh, very good. I, that, I wish it was that easy, right? What do you do? Just pressure wash the rust away. Okay. Make it look brand new. Yeah, that would that'd be, that'd be ideal. That'd be very ideal. There we are. I used to own a Ford Mustang once upon a time. Not anymore, though. There we are. It was white. It was a white Ford Mustang. There we are. Oh, oh, wow. Definitely dirty on the back end here. 
pretty cool. I'm liking this. This is fun. I like this. Now, I wonder if you'll be able to, like, upgrade... Oh, the current vehicle is 100% cleansed. Cleansed off. Are you sure about that? Look at the roof. Um, now, I do wonder if you'll be able to, like, be able to upgrade, have your own warehouse, have your own shed, like a bigger shed, a bigger warehouse where you can take on multiple vehicles and stuff like that. Probably, right? Okay. Paint the car now? You can choose to paint? Well, since I had... Can I do white? Let's say, since I had um, a white Mustang in real life... Can I have a white Mustang in real life? Doesn't seem like an... Or can I have a white Mustang in this game? It doesn't seem like I can. Okay. All right. Um, let me go like a... Like a... Yeah, light blue. Whoa. All right. Holy crap. Okay. Right. Wow, this is very uh, precise now, isn't it? Goodness gracious. I do wonder... With this kind of method, where it's like you spray all the little spots. If you were to hit like 100%, will the rest of the car be filled out, right? Will it kind of look full? You know, because like, obviously if we're doing this ourselves, we could probably make a very spotty job, I think you guess. Potentially. So if we hit 100%, would it go full color? Oops. Okay, so it looks like it's still kind of dirty, too. Yeah, so the full... Uh, full wash, the 100% wash didn't really actually wash the entire car. Wow, this is pretty intense if I actually <laughs> say so myself. Okay. You could be here for a long time, Peyton, could you? All right. And like the developer said, this is only like a snippet of what uh, it is to come. Um, there's obviously not a lot of other things added into this playtest or this play demo. And they are also very, um, oh, it sounds like at least from their from their letter, they are very open to the idea of changes and updates and, uh, and suggestions and, and, and things like that. So definitely for sure, if there's something that... Uh, you feel maybe you need to be changed or things that need to be added or things whatever it might be or just kind of tweaked a bit make sure you go get in contact with the developers i'm sure they have a discord that you can find uh, through the steam uh, store as well and uh, definitely give them some pointers or maybe give them suggestions whatever it might be seems like they're very open for it so that's good that's good news absolutely because ultimately we want a good game and a good game to play right and we want a fun game and and I mean, so far, gameplay-wise, I mean, the, the, the driving, the physics and stuff like that, I'm for it, right? I'm for it. I'm here for it. I want to test it out, actually, today in this video, so that's what we're going to do. This part seems a little bit, you know, tedious right now, but hey, maybe there will be, like, upgrades or something you can do with the paint. I just really hope that there would be, like, some sort of, kind of like a button where it's, like, complete or finish all. Like, complete all button where it completes the entire car if you got to like 95% or whatever it might be. Because I will probably do a very spotty job. Spotty job. I'll biff it up for sure. At 93%. But I do like this color I picked out. Nice light blue. Kind of a shame that you can't have... It doesn't seem like you can have white and you can't have black. Yeah. Tiffany Watson became a member. Thank you, Tiffany, for being a member. Yeah, so I guess what I can say is I think I speak for a lot of people when I say um, I hope they do add like some sort of white color that we can have having a white colored car or even a black colored car. I would love to have a black colored car. So maybe open up the uh, maybe the, the oh crap. I just accidentally hit the Q button, which then gave me a different color. Uh, having some sort of like pre-selected color where like I just accidentally hit the wrong button and now I don't know if this is the same color tone that I was using before. I guess making this uh, part a little bit um, easier and um, more options, I guess you could say. Yeah. Because uh, if you accidentally just hit that Q, now you could potentially have a different shade of blue in this case. Like I have in... I have to stand on top of the car to finish off the painting now. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that would be that would be what I would say. Just maybe change the paint a little bit. 
But it's cool nonetheless. It is cool. It is cool. I am sitting at a 97% on paint though. Uh, which I don't know where I'm missing. Oh, the bo maybe the bottom bumper. There we go. Okay, bottom bumper. Fix that out. Perfect. All right, we're at 100% paint now. We've done it. Cool. All right, so take three photos of the car, switch to the smartphone, use the tablet to list the car, and then wait for your buyer's response. Well, I kind of wanted to, like, drive it and, like, wreck it. Should we try that? Oh, by the way, there's no one driving the car. There's no character person or character model. <laughs> Whoops. Now, I do want to kind of, like, toss this car a bit. The reason why I do is because I want to see if it gets damaged, then can I then, re, you know, repair it and all that. But then also I want to test out the, uh, it itself, like that. Okay. The, too much, too much. I want to see, um, I want to see how much I can do with it. Like what are the physics like, right? Can I flip it? Can I total it? How fast can I drive, right? Let's see. Let's let's kind of zone in here. I can't even control the damn car. <laughs> let's see. Let's kind of zone in here, and I'll uh, and I'll throw some uh, throw some weird like maybe crashes here. Yeah, that's pretty weird. I don't know how that just happened. Uh, that was supposed we were supposed to launch in the air there, but uh, that didn't happen. All right. Let's go this way. That's hurt. Yep, that really hurt. Now, I don't know what would happen. Now, I don't know what would happen if I were to flip the car over and actually get it stuck. But you can see that there is actually, I think there's, yeah, you can see damage happening on the vehicle. Well, I mean, that's black smoke. Uh, flows out of the engine. You can see that there is some sort of actual damage. As far as, like, how realistic the damage is, you know, it is what it is, right? It's not, like, total realistic. This isn't, like, um, uh, BM BMG. Nothing like that, but now, once we beat it up, we can easily just repair it, right? Yeah. Of course, it costs scrap and all that. But, well, we can actually do that. Okay, so let's here. Let's put th put this back inside, and we can wash it up too. We'll wash it up. We'll wash it and repair it again. Very easy. I just realized the front bumper is not colored corrected. It's like purple and blue. Cool. Okay. Okay. Now it's 100% uh, repaired. Um, let's take some pictures with it. Yeah. So let's step outside with it. Don't hit anything now that we're going to actually list it for sale. Probably move the truck out of the way. Turn the lights off. Okay. Let's get in this. Okay, where do I want to take a picture of it? Let's go in kind of like towards the... I think I have the car painted or something's wrong with the back window. I don't think it's washed out of the way. Yeah, I don't think it's washed out of the way. Let's take it over here to some flat ground and like take a picture, yeah? Or you know what? Let's sit in the middle of the highway. There we go. Give me the phone. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? That's really cool. I like that. Oh, wait. Take three pictures of the car. Okay. Take a picture as somebody was driving through. Don't hit my car! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are they doing? What's the AI doing? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's a picture of your soon-to-be potential car blocking traffic. All right. Fort Mustang. Demand is high. He just hit my car. Unlisted. My price. Let's add photos. Can we? It's a Fort Mustang. 450 horsepower. 3.5 liter engine. Um. Okay. Discard changes. No. Discard changes. Yes. Uh, photos. Okay, we have photos. I would like to put... This is kind of weird. Can I put, like, 
there we go photos you can't do this with the mouse you have to do this with like the keyboard and stuff interesting okay so i'm using the keyboard with enter in uh wasd so that probably should be fixed okay uh it looks like first photo is actually last photo so let's go last photo first there we go and then listing price how much should we buy this for um six thousand what if we did like ten thousand dollars whoops not f ten thousand dollars there we go demand demand low hi i want to buy your car what the frick didn't i just take a picture of this car with an iphone and now i pull out a flip phone okay drive the car to the buyer i will what in the world look at how many honda civics are backed up my lord okay so we have to drive the car to the buyer now what you would want to do in this situation is you would want to tow it to the buyer look at the paint job oh my god the paint job looks so bad it does it looks terrible it looks so awful all right so we want to tow this bad boy to him there we go get that all pushed out oh god this is a terrible paint job so this is what i'm talking about like the auto complete on the paint jobs right i think it's a must lighting this up too is a must or i'm gonna really damage it when i show it to him okay bring that in okay good job all right time to go time to give it to this person complete the car sale all right look at all these tire marks in the dirt <laughs> these rubber this rubber we're laying down and down in the desert jeez yeah you can tell like the the back shield the back the window uh i don't think it was just i just don't think it was cleaned properly uh the back bumper of the vehicle is just purple and blue even the front bumper of the vehicle is purple and blue uh, it's just a hack job, dude. It is. It's a, it's a really, really bad hack job. There we are. Let's squeeze right on through. Hello. It'd be actually kind of funny if I'm reselling this to somebody in the same neighborhood that I bought this from, which looking at the waypoint might be suggesting that's exactly what's happening right now. We are going to be selling this car. What if we sell this car back to its owner, back to its previous owner? Oh, my Lord. Is that what's going to happen here? It's going to be funny. Yeah, this is going back into Rainville, I believe. Is that the name of the neighborhood? Here comes some tight corners. To the right, to the right, to the right. Okay, we're just going to cut the corner here because I am not stopping. Excuse me. This is the tight corner right here. Incredibly tight. Yeah, what am I supposed to do on that? Not a freaking thing. We are going back into the neighborhood that we got this thing from. Oh, my Lord. Welcome to Rainyvale. And we're selling it to the neighbor, like, around the block. This is hilarious. Okay. Cool, dude. There we go. Looks like this person, if this person was, if, this, if it was part of the demo, maybe they would be selling this truck here. Cool. Okay. Hopefully the owner is not standing outside about to watch me. They are. Twelve thousand dollars. Sell car. I thought I listed it for ten thousand. Did I add a delivery fee? Complete the car sale. Plus six thousand three hundred and seventy. Uh I don't understand. Hello, I'd like to buy your car. The price of the car will be... He's offering that much? No. The offer of the car is going to stand at $10,000, my good man. Offer price. Oh, he doesn't like that. No way. I'm the one selling the car, sir. $9,500. Take it or leave it. Ugh. Do you think I'm stupid? No, but I bought this car for like... Well, I bought it for like 5900 didn't I? Okay, fine. $8,000. $8,000. Uh, 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 uh. 
I don't like that price. I don't like you. $7,500? I don't like that price. Again, I don't like you. $7,000. You fulfilled my dream. I hope it will serve me for a long time. Inquire about an extra job. How much money did we make from that? I guess from all of that, we made like $1,000. I think we started out with like 7,000 something, right? Seven. We might not even have made $1,000 there. Trailer park leader. Leader? Hey, newcomer. Do you want to do a job for me? Sure. I hope you bought a car before you start. I have two jobs, but I can only give you one. Do you want legal or illegal? Legal. We've got a delicate situation. No rough stuff needed. A special package cunningly concealed by the gas station's power outlet. Your job. Pick it up. No noise. No mess. Keep it smooth. I will be back with the package soon. What? Okay. Very well. Go to the power outlet and retrieve the package. Okay. Well, I'll be honest with you, my good man. I did not buy a vehicle for this. So I guess... In a way, we could just buy a vehicle, keep a vehicle, hold on to a vehicle. Uh, like this one right here. If we wanted to. We could keep this vehicle. 6400 This could be our Ford Mustang. Or we could just kind of drive around in our... Uh, in our tow truck. Now, I am curious. Let's see. What if we were to park this here? And we would talk to the car seller. Hey, yeah, I'm looking for a new ride. I say, I give you $5,000 for it. You probably say, oh. All right. Thank you very much. What if I say $5,900 for this? Thank you. Okay, we'll buy it for $5,900. This might be a... Oh, God, seductive. Right. That's right. Yeah. This might be a faster option to drive to the power station or power outlet. So let's go there quickly. Yeah, this is so much. So much faster than using the tow truck is what I was supposed to say there. Don't mind me as I'm pounding this out. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, put it away. Back to what I was doing. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. We'll go fast. Not too fast, apparently, because you'll go on two wheels. But fast enough to get to the power outlet and find this, uh, retrieve this package. This is the legal job side of things. It's called a mystery package. Uh, there's like a castle at the top of that hill. Um, if we were to do an illegal job, I assume that would be like, oh yeah, go steal this car. I wonder if there... Oh, shoot. I wonder if there's going to be like some sort of like... Like, what is the consequences of stealing cars? I, like, is there going to be some... I, like, is there going to be some sort of consequence? Maybe getting caught by police, getting caught by bad guys. You know, whatever it might be. I should probably stop at that gas station there. But here I am, hauling ass. Okay, this is taking us somewhere way far on beyond. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's so weird. To find just random repair scraps out in the desert. How strange. It's like our car can barely handle a, a hit, dude. Like, we gotta, like, repair this thing already again? Damn. I mean, I did just launch it off a, uh, a, a, a sand dune. Like, I mean, I get it. But, I mean, come on. First person. Oh, I have a, wind, a dirty windshield. Does that have an e-brake? Where's the e-brake at? What, what's the e-brake? Spacebar? I can't even tell what that key is. What What is that key? Is that decimal? Is that period? I think it's spacebar. Should be spacebar. Longest drift? Thanks for noticing. Showing up to the scene. Hello? 
Oh. Pick up. Return the package to the trailer park leader. Okay, brother. Should I drive in first person or third person? Well, if I had clean windshield, I would drive in first person a little bit, but... Let's go. Yeah, the e-brake is interesting. <laughs> uh, I would like to also maybe go to the gas station real quick, too. I just realized... Oh, I was going to say, we just lost our speedometer there for a sec. So I couldn't even take a look at my fuel gauge. All right, we'll stop at the gas station and get some fuel. Coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Try to avoid collision. Hello? I'm here for a fill-up. Fill that bad boy up. This is a Mustang that has uh, 16 gallons. Uh, thank you. Okay. What is this tire for? Throw strength? Get the hell out of Dodge. That wasn't me that just threw it. A tire at a truck. I'm just testing out the physics, man. I am. I oh shoot. Can't really test the physics. I know it's a early access. Ow! 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 Goodness. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I get it. I get it. Loud sound effects. I am so sorry, Kia. That was like a Kia Optima back there. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I thought that broken down RV was a food truck. I was going to say, tacos are on me tonight, boys. All right, let's see here. Uh, hammer me? Okay. This, like, crouch button is, like, weird. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I fixed it. Or I got the package. How's my job going? Any progress about the package? I see you have the package I requested. Here it is. Good work. I knew I could count on you. We'll be in touch for the next job. Understood. I'll be ready. Hey, thank you for playing the demo. Thanks to all the supported. Thanks to all that supported and believed in us. After a very intense period of development, the demo is out now. But it doesn't end here as we have a lot of early access content planned. Coming soon, early access. Tweak custom car parts. Have a broken car part, order a new one. From Usebay to, to the early access, we will add a whole online shop and packages delivery. You will also have a lift, allowing you to change the engine, tires, or rims. Really cool. You'll also be able to pip your car by changing the paint on your car and adding awesome stickers. Oh, cool, stickers and all that. Hopefully they add like white and black paint and stuff like that. 10 plus car models. Only two car models were available in the demo version, but we are working on additional ones. In early access, there will be over 10 of them. Uh, you will be able to buy, customize, and sell, but also drive them, show off your drifting skills, and explore the open world. More illegal tasks. For those who want to run their business only partially legally, we're preparing more illegal side quests. Each of them will impact your reputation and position in the market, thefts, sabotage, and avoiding getting caught by the cops. Okay, so there's your consequences right there. Business upgrade. So some start in the garage and you start with an old shed, but that's just the beginning. In early access, you will develop your business, earn money, and expand to the company. You will also face a competition. You will have to conquer the market. Cool. I love that. That's really cool. I love that little uh, picture they have there for the um, soon-to-be garage. New locations in the open world. Uh, in the demo version, you only got a known a fragment of our game world. We are preparing additional locations such as Rich District, Harbor, or a abandoned ski jump. Okay. You will also encounter various NPC fac fractions. Wait, what? Various NPC fractions there with whom you will interact and engage in various business activities. I think that I think that's supposed to say factions, not fractions. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, last words. At first, we will focus on gathering feedback and bug reports to polish the early access as much as possible, and then more features, cars, and mechanics will keep on rolling. So please drop by our Discord channel or Steam forums and let us know your thoughts, wishes, and suggestions. Have fun and enjoy the game, future car businessmen. Businessmen. 
businessmen and or women. Yes, good. Cool. Awesome. I liked it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, add it to your wish list. Hit the like button if you want to see me play this game. I think this game's pretty cool for sure. Um, and also, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you are notified the next time we go live or the next time we play some more awesome simulator games. All right. So thank you all. Have a good rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next one, wherever that may be. Do as always. Take care.